You know, the worst thing that can happen to an election thief is to now, in bare face, begin to encourage toggery and roguish behavior. I've played politics in Ogun State since 1999. Bar one incident in 2007, I do not have any recollection of any time in the history of our state where brigandage, misbehavior, toggery, criminality, Maruders and murderers have been elevated to the directive principle of state power, like has happened underneath the government of Dakwa Biodun, the man I like to say, the select governor of Ogun State, because you couldn't have won an election that is still very much being contested. Today was the beginning of the opening of the tribunal, and obviously a lot of people will go there. It is usual for leaders of political parties like us to show face so that we can just show solidarity, not like we're leaving all our followers to do all the hard work while we sit in the comfort of our air-conditioned room. And in my habit, I don't move around with thugs or, you know, miscreants. I lighted reasonably distant from the courthouse because I knew that parking would be a problem and I proceeded to walk. As I moved towards the environment, I had seen the type of terrible characters that in decent societies they should be in prison, milling around and driving all over the place. Some of them are fairly known operators who play around their parks and garage and their ticketing and such beastly activities. I approached the court gate and it was locked. And I realized that there was no room in the court anymore. And I simply turned back. And as I make my way to leave, a horde of murderers descended, tried to, you know, bring out weave, bring out kugels, brought out guns. And they were generally misbehaving at a point, because this is Abiyukuta South, where we defeated them resoundly with all of their toggery and all of their manipulative tendencies, I thought, okay, what could make them so upset? I couldn't find any. Luckily, the security vehicle was not too far off, and I entered into the security vehicle to make my way to leave. As typical of the kinds of nonsense that has become of Uganda, that Babiodun, one of them snatched my glasses, which is quite pricey, and ran away with it while I, while I was living. Luckily, I have a spare home, so I went back home and took another spare. What I would just want to say, I feel, first is to President Bola Metinubu, the president that is in the villa now. We have transferred power from one civilian administration to the other since 1999. Not even under Bombo Dubari has brigandage been tolerated to the level that we're beginning to see it now. If they're not attacking our people in Kogi, they're attacking us in Imo. If they're not attacking us in Imo, they're attacking us in Abiyokuta. It was easy to explain an attack until I felt it physically to ask myself that, how does this type of madness happen here? Unfortunately, I saw the police standing by helpless as though they don't even understand that they have a responsibility to keep the peace. I kept asking myself, how could you have been watching them hold guns, hold sticks, hold out, all of them shouting the name, that was sent us, that Babiodun sent us, that Babiodun sent us. And I was asking myself, when did Ogun State become a place where governors sent dogs for the opening day of tribunal? I'm not surprised. The first evidence of this type of behavior we saw from the rather gentleman governor, which we thought was a gentleman, was the show of shame that took place in Ijebu, in the entire Ogun East Axis, where you saw operatives riding Okada just misbehaving. And you're asking yourself, 
First, the tribunal is not going to give verdict on the first day. Second, at best, they are just opening the election. How does it become fashionable for you to mobilize miscreants to the place? So our position is that the president of the Court of Appeal, in his wisdom, should please relocate the Ogun State Tribunal from Abe Okuta because it's no longer safe. So that we can go and have that tribunal in the peaceful atmosphere of Abuja and everybody can have the case adjudicated and we can deal with the outcome of the court cases. The second thing that needs to be said to, the, to Mr. President, Mr. President, President Bola Metinubu, put a leash on Dr. Abiodun before he gets us to implode the states for him. The gentility of a fox is not the meaning that maybe people have a license to be misbehaving and expect us to just be walking away every time. For how long are you going to keep pushing us back before we react? It's democracy. And we have the inalienable right to stand for election, to expect that the election will be free and fair, to go through the process of tribunal, to go to court when our cases are being called without being attacked. And because we know ourselves, it's a lot of work one has been putting in to beg our own people no for, for a reprisal. Would President Bola Ametinubu like to hear that in Abe Okuta now, we have all started injuring ourselves because of a verdict that we are still expecting in court? Dakwa Biodu, Dakwa Biodu, Governor Dakwa Biodu, call your people to order. This is totally, totally unacceptable. This is not the Ogun State we know. This is not the Ogun State we've lived in. This is not the Ogun State of our future. Whatever needs to happen, go and find out who and who is responsible. They've done it in your name, and you have a duty and a responsibility to call them to order and make sure that we can live here, we can sleep here, we can be safe here. Nothing more needs to be said other than the fact that it is a very ugly day of shame. It is a day that nobody in his right senses, who is a true born of Ogun State, will be proud of this. Some of my, my followers are in the hospital now as we speak, attending to their injury. Luckily, I was able to, you know, get away from the place, but it's not without his own scars. What would have happened if we had mobilized thugs there? What would have happened if we had told our thugs that they should engage them in a fight? What would have happened if it had gotten out of hand? Are we going to make a bloodbath in Ogun State just because that Kwabiodun has lost an election and is struggling very hard to justify his, his stolen mandate? You will never be governor that we will agree to. We will never give you legitimacy on this particular time because as far as we know and as far as we are concerned, you have stolen our mandate and we are determined to collect it back. Thank you very much.